I'm Martha Cooper. I'm a documentary photographer. I've been sort of specializing in graffiti and street art since the late 70s. Duro said this, we first learned about Marty when we saw this newspaper article. Dandi, a member of CIA, aka NACO, aka NC, and Hearst, aka OI, had painted some throw-ups on the wall behind this kid on a homemade swing. We read that the photographer's name was Martha Cooper. Martha was responsible for taking some of the greatest graffiti pictures that have ever been taken. She was one that was notoriously dedicated to going into the train yards, into the layups with the graffiti writers to hang in their world. She didn't just want to take pictures. She wanted to live among the writers themselves to properly document this part of hip hop's history. After about two or three years of taking pictures on the trains, I finally met some writers. They actually had seen me taking pictures you know, for several years, but nobody wanted to approach me because, you know, I looked like I could be a cop. That impressed them that I had their work, and, and of course I was very impressed that I actually met the artists. That was the beginning of a really good collaboration, and uh, they were not at all shy about you know, being in my pictures, which was kind of interesting for a clandestine underground movement on the one hand, and on the other hand, you want to show off. So here they are showing off, and this is like many, many other pictures. If you, at that time, you show up with a camera, everybody is like, ta-da, you know, and, and got my can. Starting out as a sculptor in New York in the 1970s, Chalfant turned to photography and film to do an in-depth study of hip-hop culture and graffiti art. One of the foremost authorities on New York subway art and other aspects of urban youth culture, his photographs record hundreds of original artworks that have long since vanished. His archive of over 1,500 photographs is represented exclusively by Eric Firestone Gallery, New York and East Hampton. Exhibits of his photos include the O.K. Harris Gallery and the landmark New York New Wave show at PS1 and important galleries and museums in Europe. He has co-authored the definitive account of New York graffiti art, Subway Art and a sequel on the art form's worldwide diffusion, spray can art. The Cornell Hip Hop Collection is home of the archive of photographer Joe Conzo Jr., featuring more than 10,000 of his negatives and prints, called the man who took hip hop's baby pictures by the New York Times, Joe Conzo captured images of the South Bronx between 1976 and 1984, including early hip hop jams, street scenes, and Latin music performers and events. In 1978, while attending South Bronx High School, Conzo became friends with members of the Cold Crust Brothers, an important and influential early hip hop group which included DJs Charlie Chase and Tony Tone and MCs Grandmaster Kaz, JDL, Easy AD, and Almighty KG. Conzo became the group's photographer, documenting their live performances in many of hip-hop's legendary early venues, such as the T-Connection, the Disco Fever, Harlem World, the Ecstasy Garage, and the Ho Avenue Boys Club. He also took pictures of other hip-hop artists and groups, including the Treacherous Three, the Fearless Four, and the Fantastic Five. My name is Fab Five Freddy. Um, I'm here to talk about uh, my good friend, Jamel Shabazz, a great photographer whose work I own, um, and I'm proud to have been uh, involved in his career, his first book. 
We're from different parts of Brooklyn. I'm from the Bedford Stuyvesant section. He's from, like I said, that Crown Heights, Flatbush area. But we basically had experienced a lot of the same things. We, you know, witnessed, listened to the same music, danced the, the same dances, you know, were wearing what the cool styles were, the right hats, the right pants, you know, all those things that before rap made them large, all those little details, you know, the gazelle glasses, you know, the kango caps, the sneakers and stuff, way before those things were um, mythologized in rap, in the numerous videos, Jamel had captured. These were the heroes. These were the style icons. These were the cool cats on the corner on the street that every major rapper uh, was trying to emulate, was trying to give voice to, you know, was trying to paint the pictures of the lifestyles that these guys live. You know, when you first saw Run DMC real strong, chilling on the corner in a b-boy stance, I mean, what that was about, you know, how you stood, how you posed, you know, how you kept your grill. A lot of those things come from the kind of people that Jamel just brilliantly uh, captured. In the 1980s, Jamel Shabazz would walk the streets of his native New York with his camera, photographing young black and brown people wherever he encountered them. On corners, on park benches, in phone booths, or barber shops, leaning against cars or friends, waiting for the subway, cradling newborn or shopping bags, crews of kids with their arms around one another, or in the middle of elaborate secret handshakes. He took their pictures, arranged to copy and share with them, and kept it moving. I don't want anything in return, he recalls telling his subjects. I just want to record this moment in time because I see your greatness. I describe my contributions to hip hop. If all I did was take pictures and be a really cool photographer, I could have left a nice little thing. But what I did was I helped share with them something beyond the streets and they shared with me their magic of the streets normally i don't even pat myself on the back for that but it happened and hip-hop had this rawness this ugliness this grittiness this danger that inspired me to go out there and photograph it in my 70th, 70th year which sounds bizarre it sounds obscene and to have masters of this genre respect me and love me, man, I'm glad to be alive. Back in the day, I'd look at pictures in magazines and I'd see Ernie's name and I'd be like, how did he get that picture? That's an amazing picture. I wish I was there. You know, Ernie's legend. Got all the hip hop uh, photographers. He definitely got the best body of work. I've known Ernie since I was about 21. He caught an amazing shot of me with Jay Z, and he's had so many legendary shots. Everybody I met, you know, so proud, you know, to, and they want to know how you know Ernie. Like, I'm his son. I'm his daughter. I'm his friend. I'm his, you know, nephew. And I felt the energy. <laughs> I knew he was like the big brother in hip hop when we first came in the game on Sleeping Bag Records. It's my thing, your customer. He's one of those hip hop major dudes, like such a huge spirit and to be 70, right? Like it's just unreal when you see him and the things that he represents. Once again, give it up for Ernie. 